I am excited because I'm just leaving work. It's 12 o'clock. Woohoo! We left a little bit early. Um, I'm not excited because I had placed an ASOS order Friday or Saturday. It must have been Saturday. A last minute ASOS order for a couple of bits that I'd forgotten. Plus an outfit to wear tomorrow because for some reason that completely slipped my mind. Everybody knows you need a Christmas outfit. Um, and I had no idea what I was going to wear. So I ordered some stuff. Was really happy with my choices. And um, it's been attempted to be delivered today and no one heard the doorbell. So amazing. Uh, we're gonna go home now, you and I, not anybody else, it's bright. And um, Lee said we could pop to Meadowall and see how busy it is. I don't know whether or not it's gonna be rammed on Christmas Eve. I have a feeling everybody will be avoiding it. But if everyone thinks that, maybe it is gonna be busy. Look at this, it's a Christmas miracle. Look at the parking space we've got. Amazing Milo, Milo's so tired. I think when we get home, you'll have to go straight to bed, Miles. Do you think you're that kind of tired? He's been to see the Grinch this morning. Can you pet me? Absolutely not. <laughs> the other night, Milo was telling me he'd seen the trailer for the Grinch, and as he was explaining the trailer to me, he was crying. He was really upset about it because the Grinch really loved Christmas, and then he was all by himself, and he was like, and then, and then he had to be in a cave. And so he was a bit nervous to go and see it because he thought it was going to be really sad. And he said it was sadder than he thought, but he didn't cry. So that's Milo's little review and it did have a happy ending apparently. We have just ordered two bags of carrot sticks from McDonald's. They've been ripped off. Lee, Lee, thinks, pound 78. Lee thinks he's had his pants down. You could buy like a sack of carrots for <laughs> £1.78. We don't want to have to go into the supermarket for carrots for the reindeer. Is that the royal we? We. I am an advertiser's dream. I know that this is what you're supposed to do. This is where you get carrots. McDonald's. According to Yeah, according to TV. Get your carrots to the radio from McDonald's, right? I mean, he knows what he's doing, that Ronald McDonald, doesn't he? So here is what I think I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. I, I'm gonna to have to show you this tomorrow in the light. Um, but this skirt is from Marks and Spencers. It was 45 pounds, but already it's been marked down online to 35 and they wouldn't give me the discount in store because they said that it wasn't, it wasn't an in-store discount yet. But it's a beautiful, like sparkly kind of oil slick color. Really nice and kind of a little bit understated because it's still black or navy. So the pleated skirt, which has got a bit of a glittery shimmer to it. This, which is um, a jumper from ASOS that I've had easily for a year. Again, I don't know if this is picking up very well, but they did this in a few different colours and if they've got them in stock, I will try to remember to blog about them because they are amazing. Just the way that they uh, are cut and the length of them and stuff is really, really nice and kind of like a high neck, but not too high neck. Perfect. Uh, and then the shoes I'm going to wear, I decided I'm going to wear these purple, what I like to call my... Uh, dairy milk shoes, which are SJP shoes that I got from America a little while ago, and I've hardly, oh my goodness, I've hardly worn them because it turns out purple doesn't go with very much, uh, but I thought it would probably go with this outfit and it was quite festive. And this bag, because I thought it kind of had like a teal situation in the skirt. We're going for metallic jewel tones. I've got a lot of sorting out to do before we go to bed tonight because I want all this done um, <laughs> before Christmas Day. I'd rather not this, this have this all out on Christmas Day, not ideal. But now I'm gonna get into my new Christmas jammers after a very hot bath uh, and try and do it with a bit of a festive flair. Try and clear all of these things away and sort out the house while also celebrating Christmas Eve. Can it be done? I'm just gonna grab my dinner. You're just gonna grab your dinner? We are having, I don't know why, what the issue is with this like, the focus. Here we are. Um, we are having, I'm going to call it like a buffet dinner. So we've got like, I think, hang on. I don't know if I've got it on a setting where it kind of blurs the background or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, so like lots of party food and stuff. And then obviously bread and crackers and cheese and pate and butter and all that stuff. Now there's basically got like a fancy chicken nuggets and chips situation over there. And some cheese straws. Just felt like, you know, you needed something a little bit fancier for a Christmas Eve tea. Oh, you won't 
bubble. And you were looking at um, <laughs> Funko Pops. Oh, wow. While we were there. Metal Captain America. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. I think we will. Do you think we should save this as well? Nah. The chocolate sandwich of toys, babe. What's this? Oh, it's just Hungry like... Hungry hippos. You lost all the pieces to your last one. Oh, this is Hungry Frog. Maybe it's another game. Mm. Super Smash Bros. Mm. Yay. Bros. I wanted this so much. Money. Oh, it's getting, is it getting a bit sweaty now? Oh, yeah. That's okay. I thought I asked it and what to you, but then you put the bag out. Oh, Star Wars Lego. It's ginormous. It's the Phasma one. It comes with Phasma. Wow. Look, I'll show you that. Oh, and yeah. it comes with a staff thing. But I'll know. If you want, Daddy, you can build Doctor Strange. Oh. If you like. If you want. Oh, this is a. Whoa. What is. It's a frame for Avengers Assemble. And it's signed by. The people. Can you believe it? Wow. Every single Avengers person has signed it. And then because Loki it can't get on one of the pictures, I can oh, think yeah, it's one of him on his own. What's this? Yay! Yeah. This is a... Um, what is this? What? Milo has just opened the Shreddies yeah. box from the other day. I don't feel like... <laughs> and there is... Another present inside. What? What is this? I was looking at this at Morrison's, I mean Tesco. Were you? Remember when well, it was like... the shop? Thanks, Miles. Are you making a montage of my love putting things away? Of course. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Here we are, Christmas Day. It was over like a flash and we're already back in Meadowall. Boxing Day is the real star of the season, ladies and gentlemen. I love, I love the Boxing Day sales. It is rammed in Meadowall today. Um, especially because we're going in shops we don't usually go in. Like, Ella wants to go in JD. I've left her in the queue because no thanks. Um, and it was body to body people. It's not even 10 o'clock, guys. Like, this is insanity. So many people. Um, I wanted to come in because we want to go to Virgin, see if we can maybe find a deal for a holiday next year. And I usually get my birthday present in the Boxing Day sales, whether it be on Boxing Day or somewhere between now and my birthday, because my birthday's right at the beginning of February. And I've seen something that I want um, that would kind of be half a present from me and half a present from me. We booked a holiday. Uh, we're going to, I do a lot of this in the vlogs. We're going to um, Los Angeles, and Vegas, then back to Los Angeles, it's only like eight days, um, and then home. That's the plan. I felt like it was like a compromise, Lee really wanted to go back to Vegas. I didn't have the greatest time with the kids in Vegas, I have really wanted to go to California for a while, we were thinking of doing a road trip. So we're kind of combining the ideas. Um, and lots of people when we book these holidays ask where we book them. Almost exclusively in the past we booked them through Expedia. This time we booked through Virgin Holidays, and it was a really good experience. Um, so obviously you go in, I'm going to see if I can just balance this camera, yeah, 
I don't think I can. Oh, there we go. Uh, obviously, you go in and they like sort everything out for you, which was a new thing for us because we've always done that ourselves separately. Um, rather than do it kind of as a package holiday. Um, so there's that anyway. And then after the fact, we decided that the hotel we'd booked in LA wasn't, it was a little bit sketchy um, from the reviews that we'd seen. And it was Boxing Day that we actually booked it. I went online and on Twitter, via direct message, we changed our hotel. They told us the difference in price and it was reflected in our booking online immediately. It was amazing, really, really good. And they waived any cancellation fee or amendment fee because it was the same day. Um, it was just a great experience. So, whew, I feel out of breath. Um, I've just been running around and getting dressed. That's, you know, I'm incredibly unfit and I'm 32, nearly 33. Um, that's apparently what, what leaves me out of breath these days. So these eye patches, <laughs> should have mentioned really, um, they're the Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair eye patches. And I only bought them because Lady Wright's blog on Twitter tweeted on Christmas Eve um, that there was a glitch and if you bought two things you got a free highlighter which was worth £38 I was like okay um, I mean there's not a lot of things I would want from Estee Lauder although their Envy Pure Colour Envy lipsticks amazing but expensive and the highlighter wasn't like a draw enough for me to do that anyway anyway she said that it worked with only one item and the cheapest item were the eye patches which I really wanted to try but they're £11 for one pair so I bought one pair, this is them, and I got a free £38 highlighter, which is beautiful. I'll show you a bit downstairs in a second. Um, but I thought, since they are really expensive eye patches, I would show removing them on camera to see whether or not they really did anything amazing. I'm going to take some pictures, because obviously I'm going to blog this, £11. I mean, I'm, I know it's, it's kind of crazy, because I am a relatively spendy person. Like, I, if I've got money, it's gone. Um, but £11 for eye patches, you know, everyone has their limits. I know it's stupid. You'll spend lots of money on one thing that doesn't make sense. And then suddenly you're like, oh, £15 for a shirt in Primark. But you know, you have your lines, don't you? Um, okay, so let me look. I've got a mirror directly below. Ooh, okay. That has made a difference. Whether or not that's going to be like something that, that stays with me or not. But fine lines wise, that has made an incredible difference. Like, when I do that, obviously we've still got some, like, crepiness, but I would have had kind of quite a few that you could just see, even when I was just moving my eye like that. And I think that has made a difference. I don't think it's worth £11. I don't think that any effect is going to be permanent. But, you know, it was a good deal at the time. This is Sudocrime, which is going to be wiped off in a second because we're going to Ikea. And I don't really want to go to Ikea with Sudocrime on my face. Okay, so, I mean, just please ignore, you know... Um, so what I bought from Ikea were these two legs. Now I got, this is a leg that we had just hanging around. I put this up some time ago and it just never seemed 100% secure with just the brackets on the underneath. Um, as you can see, I never did sand down and paint that. I will. At some point, I'll get around to it. Uh, in fact, I'll probably take the middle one down once I've done this. But this was never a, a tall enough leg for me to screw it in. So I've got these ones because they are... Uh, extendable and then I've got something that I'm hoping will go here I mean I measured it but did I really probably not um I kind of measured in in ideas of what fit here <laughs> before uh and I'm hoping that the thing that I've bought it is quite a large thing but I'm hoping it will do for kind of um drying my clothes on and then also it will be good for um you know when you want to just keep clothes like separate or when you're packing or um haul videos amazing also, seriously, I think I might be growing a second head. I need to pop something else on this while I'm doing this. No internet. And a very sleepy dog who's still in daddy's space. I finished the um, unit that I was building the other day and I finished the wardrobe, so I'm gonna go upstairs and show you now. Um, it's the next day. Everything's just kind of blurred into one in this Twix period. I don't know if I showed you this built the other day, but there it is, I've got some stuff drying on it and some stuff I bought the other day and um, the legs, the one in the middle is going, but the legs have been attached to this. The more exciting elements of the IKEA purchase the other day were some additions to my wardrobe. It's just like a never ending thing. I'm always gonna be changing it. That's what I love about this wardrobe. So it's the packs, I've, I've talked about it before. Oh, I'm out of breath from running upstairs. Um, so everything down there, I already had those three drawers and then that's just like a space where I can, I did put shoes, but now I've just put some boxes of things. Um, and then I've got handbags with the glass front drawer, which I really, really like. Uh, I do have a light that I've installed at the top. So I've 
brought my clothing down, I've put another shelf up there to again hide boxes and stuff. Um, and it's got like scarves and things in there. So I've installed a light, but I thought because I had the other light fitting from a couple of years ago, they could all fit together, but they've changed the system. So I've got the light, but not the actual fitting to make it work, which is annoying. But I'm, I've ordered that on Amazon, so I don't have to go back to Ikea. Uh, then I've got my clothing, and then this is a glass shelf, which is kind of pointless because the clothing covers it up. But once I get rid of all these very, very thick... Can I go further out than this? No. Uh, once I get rid of all these thick woolly jumpers, once it's like springtime again, I will be able to see through that glass shelf, hopefully. And then I've got a pull-out drawer underneath where I'm going to keep, like, sunglasses and stuff. I've just thrown some things in there for now. But I'm excited about this more excited once the light works and then the light that I already had I put in here I have already got another light as well that I think I'm going to fix there um and they'll all fit together so I've got that one that I've drilled through here they'll all fit together in some wires underneath here uh, so they won't need more than one plug hopefully but that was like um an old lighting system it's exactly the same light but the actual wires fit differently together it's just annoying so I thought I'd put it there so we can see the dvs because we watch those at night time because the internet's so poor uh, we can't watch Netflix, but that's going to change. Um, then the DVD player. Then I've just installed this, which you can pull out, but I'm not going to because I've kind of fitted it in there so that it kind of works with the wires at the back and it keeps everything secure. Um, it's more so that I've got more shoe storage than just having regular shelves. So I'm not going to pull them out, but you can pull that out in theory. Um, those are from, I want to say, blah, 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 there's a word. What is it? Home bargains, home bargains. Um, and then I've got just some more shoes and stuff up there. That is actually my makeup storage. These three drawers, well, the top two, the last one is electronics and things. Um, and I've just got like, bags and stuff, so we've done a mini closet tour. But I'm really happy with those additions. And yesterday I ordered, or at least I've started ordering. I'm doing this thing with Sky where I um, am changing things. Oh, I'm just remembering, I told you I was gonna show you something. That highlighter, I'll do that in a second. Um, changing things via text and via messages. Weirdly, I went to call and say I wanted to add the internet to our broadband, the broadband to the, our, bleh, <laughs> I wanted to add the internet to our TV package with Sky, um, but obviously I took that moment to negotiate our Sky package. So I was going to do that over the phone, but the phone signal, everything, the signal for everything is horrible up here. Um, just everywhere in the house, it's just like, you know, if you're going to call to cancel something, the chances of them cutting you off if your signal is not perfect is pretty high. I used to work in a call centre. Um, we, it's terrible but these things happen and so I really didn't want to do that and I thought I'll just give it a go see how it is because uh, I really wanted to order it before I go back and have to go out into the real world and make my phone calls again um, and it said you can do it by text so I did all of the first half where I negotiated down the sky package and then it got to kind of like clocking off time and I'm really struggling to kind of get back in touch with them to add on the broadband but hopefully in theory we'll have the broadband very very soon and we'll have like super fast internet for the first time in two years because we've lived here for two years with such such terrible internet i can't like we can't even have cables the regular internet would be like 0, 0.00 something it's stupid so we've had a cableless provider but everyone in the estate is using it and it's just not it's terrible right now it's off completely this was the thing i was going to show you the other day i got these eye patches which were okay but not worth 11 pounds but i got this amazing highlighter for free and this was worth 38 pounds this is the shade Mirage. I don't know if it's available anymore, but how gorgeous is it? And now we're going to Las Vegas where there is a Mirage. I feel like maybe it was meant to be. Maybe it was like, not a guess, a uh, premonition when I ordered this because there were three different colors and I chose this one. Anyway, that is it for this vlog and it's gonna be it for vlogs for a while. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna be doing daily or weekly vlogs at all really maybe this year we'll see how things go but I, I think we're kind of going to nix those for 2019 we'll be doing travel vlogs i'm already excited about the holiday you'll probably hear a lot about it in the next couple of weeks um but if you want to follow kind of like daily stuff then instagram stories is going to be where it's at i think that that's where people want this stuff these days i don't think vlogs do very well on youtube for me and so i'm going to kind of move into some other stuff um and there's going to be a lot of style videos since my book is released soon in like the next two months i'm very excited so um yeah there's gonna be lots of stuff about like really 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 simple real world styling tips um because if you can't do teach that, that's what they say so please subscribe if you haven't already you don't have to do the notification thing i upload really early someone talked to me about this the other day and they said they're either gonna have to unsubscribe or stop notifying themselves of the videos which 
Makes sense because it's 7 a.m. uploads, but people seem to like the 7 a.m. uploads, so I don't know, I don't know. It will be a learning curve, but I'm gonna change some things up in 2019, and um, if you wanna see more sit-down videos and um, a little bit more kind of put together content, which was the plan last year, but then I got the book thing and then I just ran out of time to do this stuff, um, then my first one's gonna be New Year's Day and then thereafter it'll be every Friday. So I hope you stick with me and I will see you guys then.